All right, so the next fight we have is David Gladfelter versus Miles Sampson. This is a 186-pound bout, so this is a little bit bigger, boys. Always exciting because those guys, uh, they tend to have a lot of power packed into speed, so speed and power. Yeah, this this weight division is, is one of the – it can be very technical. You know, I, I remember growing up in, like, in high school and wrestling – what you would end up seeing is about like 171, 189. Mm -hmm. These are the these are the divisions where the technique starts to fall off, and it becomes more of a strength strength versus strength grit, bot, battle. But you know, we're not talking about high school kids; we're talking about adults. Right. And I feel like, you know, 185, you can still have really good technique here. I um, I re I just remember watching the 180 guys in Muay Thai, and it just being like. You never know who's going to drop somebody like, you know, at, just at the one shot, just boom. You know, you just yeah. never knew who had that, what they call it, a god, god hand power or whatever. So if we're going to base this fighter off of the entourage, the second fighter coming in. MMA Institute, by the way, uh, which is uh, fantastical. We love MMA Institute. They are one of... Uh, one of the one, definitely one of the gyms that we follow very closely. They what I like to uh, call the killer gym or the beast gym. So we're gonna see some we're gonna see some fireworks here. I think out of out of these guys. Very excited. <coughs> MMA Institute. That's down in uh, where is it? Uh, I think Fredericksburg. Pretty sure. I've only been there once. <laughs> I don't remember. I need to get down there more. You know, uh, Chad Lebrun, by the way, uh, of uh, the lab, wants me to come down there and start and, and do a little shooting with him because he also does like three range. He owns uh, three range combatives. Uh, they do all the all the cool, uh, you know, CQB shooting, uh, you know, drill uh, training or whatever. That sounds fun. I was in the military. I remember that. So do they typically call these guys out in order? So the first guy that came out is uh, David Gladfelter, and the second guy is Miles Sampson? Your, your guess is as good as mine. This is going to be extremely confusing. So Miles Sampson's wearing red, red shorts, fighting out of the blue corner. All right. So just reverse. Everything is. Uh, Everything's back. Reverse. Yeah. Today's opposite day. Absolutely. All right. So Miles Sampson is the brown fella. And, that is correct. And David Gladfelter is the nice German fella. Absolutely. That'll be easy for me because Gladfelter is no way. There's no way. I don't think I've ever, ever met it. Well, that's not true. They're Millie Vanilli, those guys are German, weren't they? I don't know. I think they were German. German or Austrian or something. Yeah. So before these guys go head to head here, I'm um, just looking at them. They size up, uh, yeah, I guess, pretty, pretty well, but. Yeah, pretty even. I'll I say that Gladfelter is like the bigger, more physically imposing of the two. You think Gladfelter? Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. But you know what they say, man? Always bet on black. Always. Always. Right? I mean, I saw the great white hype. I know what happens. <laughs> okay? Always. Just, if Gladfelter embarrasses him a little bit, then things are going to get, get crazy. I hope it's interesting. All right, so I'm seeing some very interesting stuff from Samson. He's just kind of like walking in. But, but yeah, once again, Glad, Gladfelter's coming in from MMA Institute. He's going to be... He's got a nice clinch here. Dude. Got him up against the wall, using the knees. Oh, hey, okay, nice knees uh, from Samson trying yeah, to... Yeah, just defending, defending his position. A little dirty boxing, as they call it, or dirty Muay Thai, yeah. I guess. Yeah, this isn't going to win you a Muay Thai fight, but this we're, we're MMA. Yeah, you know, Gladfelter's coming from MMA Institute, so I kind of have to almost give it to him just because I know... Oh, he brought that knee up very high. I don't think that Samson was expecting to get a knee to the to the head here in this you're, position. You, Tad, you're right though, man. They really are just like basically doppelgangers, except one's a white guy and one's a one's a black guy. 
I mean, they, they have a very similar body style. There's a similar build, similar length. Um, you know, I feel like with uh, Glad Felter, you get a little bit more of the triangle frame. and, and the, Oh, and yeah, the he's chest. a little thinner, yeah. And then, yeah, you get more of a rectangle, but not like a, a sloppy rectangle. With Sam Samson, I mean, he's, he's very low body fat, just a little bit of a different shape. But they're both, both long. It doesn't appear that either one has a distinctive reach advantage. Okay. But, you know, here we are. With the, the fight's basically consisted of, you know, a couple, you know, feeler outs in the beginning. And then Gladfelter's had him pinned up against the wall for the rest of the match so far. Yeah, I wonder how upset Samson is right now. I, I'm sure he's fine with this. I mean, he's not in a bad – he's not in a bad place. And he's kind of taking a rest on the uh, – just making sure that those knees don't keep coming, but those knees don't stop from Gladfelter. He's throwing some nasty ones. Yeah, and he's varying up like where his target is. He's you know going low one time and then going up high. Yeah, just yeah, changing in level. And if Samson you know guesses wrong on one of these, you know he can be oh, on the canvas pretty quick. That could be a night night. Yeah, you're right. But, it, it, you know, at this point, it's it's pretty clear that this round is Gladfelter's at this point. Yeah, he definitely has a little bit more of the control, more dominance on this. And, I mean, just those knees, too. I mean, you can't – I mean, that's one reason why they're, they're not kind of pushing him away. They – oh, I spoke too soon. I guess they were on there too long. But it looked like they were working to me. I mean, there was lots of knees happening, so. All right, so they're back in the middle. And one thing I don't like about Samson is that he – Every time a shot comes, he kind of like looks away from the shot. Well, and then and, and watch his left hand. I mean, that, that's his lead hand, and it's he's he's flaring it way out. That being said, though, it might have messed with Glad Felter's timing because he uh he was deceptive with it and landed a nice a nice blow. Yeah. Okay, uh, and that's it for the round. Um, Glad Felter stayed composed during that whole thing, even at the end when. Looked like Samson was kind of like throwing some nasty shots his way. Glad felt was just like, all right, whatever, dude. I've seen this before. I, right. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still kind of. I don't know what the judges are thinking, but right now, from where we're stand, sitting, I think uh, this is a Glad Felter fight so far. Yeah, I would say so too. I, I agree with that. I think that just, you know, as a ground person, as a person who does jujitsu, I think that a lot of what I look for is sort of control in the fight. Right. And while there was a little bit of an exchange at the end, and Samson caught Gladfelter, you know, with one of those punches, I don't think that's enough to mitigate all of the knees that he landed and the control that he had in the position. I really hope on that- the, on, the, on the fence. I really hope that, I'm, and I'm sure the judges are taking all that into account because I mean, it, it, it's not easy to throw precise knees in a dirty boxing sort of position. It's not easy. And But with these guys, these builds here, you don't know if that knee is coming for your head. You don't know if that knee is coming for your, you know, your, the outside of your thigh, inside of the thigh, into your ribs. You just don't know. These guys are just so lanky. All right, so it here we go. Like, it also looks like these guys are pretty happy to keep this fight on their feet. I don't yeah. Think. Yeah, these guys so, are definitely boxing, Muay Thai, kind of. Yeah. Uh, Gladfelter went for a clinch there, and... You know, so he looks like he wants to be tied up, maybe use a little bit more of the legs. Yeah. But Samson just punched his way right out of it. So. Away, oh, hey, nice kick, nice head He's kick. A, yeah, nice, nice. Gladfelter trying it again. He's still. And Samson has his hands up higher this round. All right, he needs to watch out, Gladfelter, with all those kicks, man. Uh, those high head kicks. I mean, I, I would concentrate on low leg kicks, kind of slow Samson down. Yeah. Start punishing his legs a little bit. Right now they're clenched up. Oh, and nice. And here comes in, in, in Gladfelter starting to deliver the knees again. Yes. And he, I mean, that's a, that's that's this guy's game. Gladfelter's just like time up and start punishing him with knees. And you guys don't see this, uh, but those knees those knees count, man. Those things. Every time you that a knee lands. That's like just a little bit more of uh, of uh, Samson's energy just going down a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, absolutely. It looked like Gladfelder went for a takedown here. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't know if his heart was in it or if Samson defended it. But it, it looked like he's okay with going back against the wall. Yeah, he's he, – yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. He is not – 
He's, I don't think Gladfelter's upset with his position. This position, I think that Gladfelter has an understanding that this position, he's winning. Oh, this, oh. He's, he's obviously winning. Look this at position. Samson. Samson's like, I don't want any more of these knees. He's trying to hook his uh, uh, yeah. uh, Gladfelter's lead leg and just trying to take away some of his mobility for those knees. But you know what? He kind of gave it up. You know, one thing that I, when I see two fighters like this, man, it's measured, and I like seeing this. Nobody's trying to make a, a drastic move, you know, to try to get get out of this position, but it's very measured. Oh, and he's going for a guillotine attempt here. Uh, I think uh, Gladfelter's head's too high right now, but if he gets that left leg around, there could be trouble. Gladfelter oh, needs to... And Gladfelter is he's getting... Wa he's walking up. I think he's okay, but it's hard. It's always hard to tell. So Gladfelter just popped his head out of a uh, guillotine submission <laughs> attempt from Samson. And now it is a he's fight on the ground. And he was in a, in a closed guard situation, but now he's moved off to the side. Side guard, but he's it's right up uh, against the cage. He's he is now past the guard. He's in side control, and he's trying to use the elbows to just sort of grind on Samson a little bit. Yeah. He, now his butt uh, is right up against the cage. Oh, and he just got mount as the bell rings, or as the uh, horn sounds. Yeah. So, you know, just talking a little bit, the only jujitsu we really saw was the guillotine attempt, and and um, also and also him getting into mount. Yeah, and him him transitioning. He got to side control. Did a good job of passing the, the knee across the stomach to sort of protect from going back to a guard situation. <coughs> But if you look at like uh, starting at the guillotine, it's always hard to say how how well a guillotine is or how threatened a guy is by the guillotine. Because that's not an e that's actually not an easy thing to get secure, right? It's not a high. Well, so it it depends. Like there it, there are guys that are really good at it and they get it in, and you know I know guys that if they would have gotten to that position, they would have been they may have been able to finish. Would have been done. <clears throat> the thing that I was uh, I guess a little surprised about. Is the opposite leg in the guillotine so important when you're trying to finish a guillotine? And he did get that guillotine, that leg over his back to block him. Gladfelter would want to move his body to the opposite side that his head's on to defend it. And, but he may not have felt him threatened and may not have ever felt that the guillotine was in. So he was like, I'll just battle this in a, from a posture standpoint. And then again, he passed. And I think that that round was Gladfelter's as well. Yeah, I, I, so this is two, two uh, for Gladfelter. And this is this pretty much uh, Samson's only shot here. So, And he's got his hands real <laughs> low. While uh, Gladfelter's got his hands up high, he's still in the game. Lots of energy in the tank. And it looks like Samson's kind of tired. Or Oh, he's throwing a, na a nasty yeah. haymaker uh, right. But it didn't really do anything. Yeah, I, I think Samson's tired at this point. <clears throat> I think that if Gladfelter wears him down a little bit with some lower kicks, that his chin will open up with one of those high kicks if he wants it. Yeah, I agree. And I can't see because now I've got people trying to get to their seats. Hopefully Tad can see something. It's a, just a little bit of a scramble. We're, we're back into our familiar position. Oh, we're back to back. <laughs> okay, so now Gladfelter once again has got Samson up against the cage, and he's throwing knees. And this seems to be a really just lovely place for Gladfelter, Samson not so much. Yeah, so Gladfelter again, I think, um, you know, I don't know how the corners communicate to people, but I'm, I'm betting they told him, hey, look, you've got, you've got two rounds on him. Yep. You can, you can get him, get him to your clinch. He's there's, there's very little threat to Gladfelter in this position. Yeah. And Samson feels pretty safe here, and he survived the position twice before, so he might not be worried about being put out in this position. But he's got to worry about points, though. But he's got to worry about, like, his his job isn't to just survive the fight. No. It's to, to, you know, to try to win. And so you kind of see, like, different personalities, you know. Oh, my gosh. You know, <laughs> it's, it's just like the jiu-jitsu mats. The truth comes out. Just and same thing in the inside the cage, inside of a ring. The truth comes out. Your game, your heart, everything. Just it's laid out in front of everybody. Yeah, and and, and you know, there's different philosophies. There are people that are like, I've lost this fight, and I'm gonna, you know, Give I'm just up? not gonna get knocked out. Uh, okay. You know, but I I'm not of that philosophy, and I don't want many people that sort of endorse it. Samson's got to He's got to make a move. His only hope here. He's is gassed. To really, he's yeah. gassed out, man. He's done. Meanwhile, uh, Gladfelter's got his hands up. And in, in Muay Thai, when we see the hands up like that, that tells us the guy's still game. He's still fighting. He's got lots of energy left in the tank. 
when their hands start dropping, that's we go. Oh, what's what's the problem? Is yeah. is the gas no longer in the tank? But Samson sort of. I mean, his hand, his left hand's been low. Uh, it oh, came hey, up a little bit in the nice. second round. Samson just threw a nasty left. Uh, looked like a left hook. Um, kind of a surprise. It didn't really do much to Gladfelter, but it was it was pretty. So maybe you you might be right. Maybe it's one of those things. But they got ten seconds to work here, so. Samson's got to do something or else. Samson tried. He's, he's breaking out the. And that's it. That's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a Gladfelter fight, man. Yeah, absolutely. I, a Gladfelter fight all the way. Yeah. I'll be surprised. This will be one of those like, big upsets. I'd be surprised if it wasn't unanimous, right? Unanimous, yeah. If it's not, then I'll be. I'll, I'm going to stand up and walk out. I'm done with this podcast. <laughs> So, yeah, they're going to go ahead and uh, announce, and I'm going to take a look at uh, the cameras, make sure everything's rocking and rolling. And everything is A-OK. -okay. Yep. That, that was, um, I'm not going to say it was an uneventful fight. There was a lot of things going on, but it was just one of those situations where not as bad as the first fight, uh, Nubani versus Gerber, but it was still, you see a little bit more uh, skill and experience, I think, on Gladfelter's side than you do on Samson's side. Yeah, I agree. The disparity, I mean, I don't think that Samson was completely out of his league here, whereas Gerber was. I mean, Gerber was... I don't know what he was doing in there. Gerber was a fish out of water. Yeah. That was that, that was his first fight. I, I I I would almost bet money that was his first fight, and it was against a guy who, that was not his first fight. Yeah, definitely not his first fight. And you know he he, he came in. He had a you know like I said I saw the I saw what New Bonnie was in earlier. You know he was warming up. He seemed like completely mentally in. Um, whereas Gerber when he came out he he kind of had that look of like, what do I do? Now? Yeah. All right, here we go. So we're going to get the uh, officials score here. Unanimous. Yep. There you go. So just like we said, uh, Godfelter won that one unanimously. It was a pretty much a one one-sided fight, as far as uh, I'm concerned. Samson, not bad. I think Samson needs to keep training, and uh, I think. I, I, I think that he's got something there, but definitely needs to refine that. Yeah, he seems a little raw, and, I, you know, his stance worries me a little bit for a guy who might have some devastating power. Like, I wonder about that. Right. 